I don't know if we could say enough about Seve. He was probably, to me, the most fun to watch of any great champion I've ever seen. I used to think Arnold was when I was younger, because Arnold was pretty wild, and he'd hit these shots from everywhere. But Seve was beyond belief. I mean, he was like an artist. He, if you put him in trouble, he'd hit these miraculous shots. You put him in the middle of the fairway, he's liable to miss the right bunker. But you, you put him in trouble where he didn't have to think about the mechanics of what he was trying to do, and he just hit the most gorgeous shots. Short game, unbelievable. I mean, very handsy, very handsy in the way he did everything. He, he had, whatever it is, Seve had it. I mean, if he walked into a restaurant at night with that blue cashmere sweater thrown over his shoulder and standing tall and everybody in the place stopped and looked at him, <laughs> You go watch him play, and he hit the ball pretty far too. People don't realize Seve got it out there pretty good. Long way, he was. He was all nasty. He was, yeah. He was just wild with the driver. I can remember, oh, around 1995, I did some work with Seve, and I, I went over to Pedreña, where he lived and stuff in Santander, and we were practicing on the fairway. And they don't have a range, so you just had a caddy out there. I mean, he was literally hitting it all over the place. And I was talking about things in the swing. He's hitting it all over the place, and I, I remember saying to him, I said, "Well, don't worry yourself so much." Of, about your driver. I said, you never were that great a driver. Even when you win winning all your championships, he goes, Boosh, I drove the ball much better than everyone think I did. Don't tell me that. <laughs> People didn't realize how bad his back was. And I think he never really, I worked with him for a year, and I always remember that uh, you know, we got to, I tried to get a little shorter, a little more compact, because his, his back couldn't stand that old yeah. swing of his, you know? And so not a, as he got older, he started hitting, not only did he hit it crooked, but he hit it short and crooked, not a good combination. And so uh, in his early years, I mean, with that huge turn, and I mean, I mean, he probably had a 120 degree shoulder turn, I would think, in his youth. Uh, I mean, he hit it a long ways, as Butch was saying, but, uh, but he really didn't change his swing. And I think his mentality was such that, you know, that it, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't allow himself to make change. He wasn't a mechanical type guy, he was purely feel. I think, you know, uh, watching him play in New York, where he won the Westchester twice, he kind of was had a, a bit of, of a change in the game too, the unbelievable energy in the crowd. You know, the people were really jacked up, you know. I couldn't wait to watch him because he might hit some wild shots, but he could also hit spectacular straight shots. I, I watched him tee off at the, on the tenth hole. It was a, you know, their Friday round, and it, the, it was just packed wall to wall, and he blew that driver right on the center of the green, that little green. And people just went, you know, just went crazy. They love seeing him pull the head cover off, you know, and I think probably if he's playing in, in this era when he had the, the new stuff, how far he would have hit the golf ball and uh, what, what he could have done. He was, he was to, you know, the short game, though, what, you know, Hogan was to ball striking. I mean, that's, that's what everybody, you know, besides the great recovery shots, I mean, everybody tried to copy his short game, learn from his short game. He, you know, you, you always hear the stories about him, you know, pitching with a three iron, hitting lob shots with a three iron. and. At tournaments, everybody would want to watch him hit short game shots. He played shots with spin, and that was, you know, that was different. But he's just such phenomenal touch, and just all the different shots he could play. And you know, he, we, he got in some really bad spots, so he had a lot of opportunities to to recover, and he did. And you know, it was impressive. I mean, he, whenever you'd go to a tournament, you'd, you'd one of the things you'd want to do is if he's practicing short game, you'd want to watch.